Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 10 in the NFL right now with industry legend Al McMorty from <laughs> BigAl.com. Industry, you are an industry legend, Big Al McMorty. You've been around for oh a long time. Oh my God, you're embarrassing me. No, no, no. Listen, if you have the long-term record of success that you've had, certain labels you're just going to have to accept. And legend <laughs> is uh, is a label I you wish, have. I wish, my, I wish my wife was here to hit me to, to, to these words. Yeah. I'm going I'm to have to show her this video. No, no, only in our eyes. Yeah, we can't speak for anyone else, but for hardcore sports <laughs> betting fans, absolutely, Al McMorty, very well respected. And the first game Al has chosen to discuss with this week is Casey Denver. This is interesting, Al, because it's interesting that you chose it. There's actually a lot of uh, bets I'm liking this week in the NFL, but this game I have stayed off of so far. Obviously, Denver off of their first loss, right? So it feels like a big bounce back spot for them. They're they're still just two and three against the spread over their last five. And KC, you know, a flawed team, but they're coming off of a bye, uh, off of the London game. So they've had a lot of rest and they're getting five and a half or six points. You know, my at first glance is a bounce back spot for Denver, so I guess I'd lean Denver, but kind of a lot of points. Is that what you like here? Denver minus five and a half or six? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. You yeah. know, I mean, it, is, isn't it not ironic, Peter, that at the time of the first meeting in week two, Kansas City was considered the better team, and sure. Denver's comeback win in that ballgame was considered not only lucky, but a sign that the Broncos weren't really a top level team this season. And then, of course, all the Broncos did since that game was win their next five before finally losing for the first time last Sunday by a field goal to the Colts. You know, still, Denver's 7-1 and one on the season. They're four games better than Kansas City, which is now 3-5. and five. But maybe things are looking up for the Chiefs. You know, Kansas City, as you mentioned, they defeated Detroit last week, or I should say two weeks ago in London, 45-10. Before that, they defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers 23-13. But the fact that the Chiefs scored a combined 68 points in their last two games really doesn't bode well for it this week, mm -hmm. as I've got one of my favorite systems on this game. And if you go back to 1980, underdogs of six or more points of back-to-back -back covers in which they scored a combined 67 or more points, those teams are now 2-44 and 44 straight up and 9-36 and 36 wow. and 1 ATS. Wow. And, and that includes 2-17 and 17 ATS when playing with Revenge. Denver's covered 8 of the last 11 versus the Chiefs. Denver's also 6-0 and 0 ATS at home versus Kansas City if the Chiefs are off back-to-back -back wins while the Broncos are not off back-to-back -back wins. So, yeah, I think it is a good bounce-back situation for Denver. But even more for me, this is really a play against Kansas City off their back-to-back -back covers. Yeah, I mean, those two covers were definitely, uh, you know, obviously the line's in complete disarray, and that was uh, Pittsburgh uh, without Roethlisberger, I yeah, guess. Pittsburgh, like just, yeah, Pittsburgh, exactly. Yeah, my only concern is just that the Chiefs' offensive line has gotten a little bit better recently, and, you know, Alex Smith was getting knocked around earlier in the year, and I'm just uh, not sure if that's uh, if that improvement on the offensive line is likely to continue or not, but I guess uh, your numbers say that uh, regardless of whether that continues, Casey's a good fade here. Yeah, I think they are, and I'm, I'm actually a little bit surprised the line's coming down a bit yeah. you know i think it it, it 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 opened higher and it's moved, it's come down about a point but i hey I'll, I'll take the value with denver yeah i mean denver was a huge huge public play last week of course they uh lost to the colts i'm assuming that the public will be all over denver again but as of right now it's minus five and a half or six we'll see where it closes al mcmorty from bigal.com recommending a play on denver minus five and a half al mcmorty tell us about your website bigal.com well you know I've, I've been in business since 1992 and uh, i've stood the test of time as they say uh had just tremendous you know success you know in the nfl i was number one in the nfl with the sports monitor a couple of years ago we hit 76.7 percent of our top plays uh, the year after that, we were 83 and 57 in, in the NFL. And you can get all of our selections. Just go to BigAl.com and click on Picks for Sale. Or if you just want to get free winners every day, there are four free winners at our website. Two for myself, one from Larry Ness, one from Scott Sprites. Or just go to the website and you can go to the homepage or you can click on Free Picks and get all the complimentary selections every day. There's four of them. Okay, sounds great, Al. Thanks so much.